So in the following problem, you're asked to f solve the system of linear inequalities. And just like a regular inequal linear inequality, you're looking for a region, uh, but this region is going to make both inequalities true. And so what it turns out to be is the intersection of the shaded regions of both of those. Instead of doing the shaded regions, I'm going to number the regions just so it may look, makes things cleaner. But the basics are the same. We first graph this line. So the first one is the easy graph because you already have it in slope-intercept form. So your slope is negative 3 fifths, and your y-intercept is 0, 2. And so we're going to graph that 0, 2. Slope is negative 3 fifths, so down 3 to the right 5, down 3 to the right 5. And so this is going to be a dashed line because it's greater than, and not greater than or equal to. So we have a dashed line going through that point. And then we look at the second line, we have 2x plus y is less than or equal to negative 3. So subtract 2x, we have y is less than or equal to negative 2x minus 3. So your slope on this one, because you already solved for y, is negative 2, and your y-intercept is 0, negative 3. So this was line 1, I just want to keep that in mind. And then line 2 starts at 0, negative 3, and has a slope of 2, so up, up 2, or slope of negative 2, so down 2 to the right 1, down 2 to the right 1. You can go in the opposite direction, as always. And this one is actually going to be a solid line. So we're going to draw that line in, and so that's our line 2. So now we, we've got to test points, and it's easiest to test 0, 0 to see which is true. So we'll start with 1. If we put in 0, 0, we get 0 greater than 0 plus 2. Well, 0 is not greater than 2. So for line 1, 0, 0 is false. So that means this other side, which would be here and here, is where it's true. So I write a 1 in the two regions. This is the first region that it could be. This is the second region that it could be. So you've got two regions there um, made by the lines we graphed, not by the x and the y-intercept but by the lines we graphed, those are your possible regions. Now for the second one, it would be 0 plus 0 less than or equal to negative 3. Well, it is not less than or equal to negative 3. 0 is not less than or equal to negative 3. So we're going to be shading above, above this line. And so this region right there, and then also this region right here. And you can see the only part that is for both of them is this little sliver region right here. And that is the solution. Every uh, point inside that region makes both of these inequalities true. And that's how you graph a system of linear inequalities.